Hey guys, it's Lane of Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this is another another video in the uh, a series of videos that we're doing about how to create a triple store in C Sharp. It's a programming language from Microsoft, and I'm doing these videos for my one of my cat techs, Austin. He wanted to learn some programming, so so in the last video uh, we set up our triple store class, uh, the triple store class that holds the triple store entries. And uh, we've got a really simple triple store class, <clears throat> kind of bare bones, but we want to get that thing wired up to a, to a graphical user interface so we can kind of punch some buttons and test some of our code. I'm, I'm excited. This is kind of the fun part for me. Um, it's also the hard part, but, <laughs> but it's kind of cool when you get your code wired up and you can push some buttons and see it work. And I know we need to go back and we need to do some unit testing and some documentation, so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get to that too. Okay, so... <clears throat> We've got our project open on Visual Studio here, and um, we've got this class that it created by default called Main Window. And, and XAML is just the, the name for the type of, of code, XML code, that Visual Studio used to, uses to define your graphical user interface. So what I want to do is I want to actually uh, rename this. Okay, and I'm going to call it, um, we're going to call it, You know what? I might be okay with main window. I might just go ahead and leave it main window. Okay, so what we want to do here, so this is the graphical view that we've got of the XAML file. And you can see I've assigned this, uh, I've assigned the the, um, the title of the window here, and I gave it a width and height. Okay, but what we want to do here is we're, we're going to start laying out some controls on this uh, user interface. So we need some text entries and some buttons and a list view. Okay, but I want to set them up the way I've chosen to lay them out in a grid view. Okay, but what I want, I think for now, is I just want to have two columns in my grid. Right now there's three. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that grid view, that, that column definition. And then you can see as they change values here, uh, they, actually, they actually will change above. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this uh, these columns equal. I'm going to do 400 and 400. Okay, so now you can see I've got my two columns here. Okay, and what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and um, we want to add some properties to this. Okay, so I think that's under the toolbox here. It is. Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to add some labels and some entries. Okay, labels and entries, text entries, to create our tri our triple store entry that we want to add to the triple store. Okay, so I'm going to start with the label. I'm going to click that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to drop it in. Okay, so here's my label. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of drag it over here to where I want. Okay, and then uh, we should be able to get to the properties over here. Okay, and let's see. We want to set the, uh, the text of the label. Appearance. I'm going to say arrange by name. All right. Okay, so we want the text value. I just got to find it here. You can tell I'm not used to doing this. Oh, well, let's look for it. Okay, right here, content. Okay, that's where we set the value of the label. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, we want to know what the primary value is. Okay, and I'm gonna put a colon after it, primary value. Okay, now you notice after I set it there, if I click over here, it updates the, the graphical user interface. Okay, now I want to click on that again. Okay, primary value, because I want to actually give the variable itself a name. see where I do that with visible tooltip hmm. Hmm. I don't 
don't see where I do that. No, I don't think it's in here. All right, well, we'll have to figure out how to do that here in a minute. Okay, so we've got our label added there. So now we're going to add a text entry. So we're going to come back to Toolbox. Okay, and we just want, uh, it's called a text box. I'm sorry, I'm used to tkinter and Python. So text box, I'm going to click on that. Click here. Okay, and we're going to add our text box. Okay, now we want it to just kind of line up, just like we lined up the uh, the primary value. Okay, so let's see. Do we have a height on this? Yeah, oh, we don't have a height. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this says margin of 41. That's weird. What happens if we do zero on that? Oh, yeah, no, that's not good. Um, okay, so what I'm not sure about on this. See, it keeps making my margin 41, and I don't think it should do that. I want it just line up in my grid so my grid column is zero okay my grid row so here's what we're going to do we're going to set this to grid row one okay I think that's what we want now what happens if I zero that after I'm set to grid row one yeah that just isn't working the way I want hmm all right well we're gonna have to figure out some stuff on our layout here this isn't working the way I want <coughs> But I won't make you guys watch me do that. I'll I'll uh, I'll figure it out here in a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our other items here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our next label, and we're gonna set the content. Okay, so this is that was the primary value. This is the relator value label. Okay, and then we want a text box for that. like those to be the same height so we're gonna make them both 28 here I'm just typing that into the XML okay so got our text box there okay now we want we need one more pair there label text box pair okay so we're gonna do another label okay. and the content on that one is gonna be secondary value again okay. okay all right so now we also need to indicate what the data types are okay so Let's do that. Now, what would be nice is to just set up a little divider here, uh, but we won't worry about that for now. We're, we'll we'll uh, we'll 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 fancy up this uh, GUI in a in a bit. So, okay. So now we need to add a label. Okay, and that's going to be for uh, primary value data type. for that. for that is going to be 
Vader data type. for the secondary value data type. Okay. And then we're going to add the text box for that. Okay. Now, actually for the secondary data type, we don't want a text box. We want a list box because we're going to limit that we're going to limit that to the values that are uh, that our database supports, so we want to actually come in here and get a list box right here. Okay. So uh, we're going to add a list box there. Okay. Now I need to make my window a little little taller. I'm running out of room, so I'll make that height 600. Okay. And then <clears throat> what I want is uh, I want to add a button that lets you add this to the data store. Okay, so we're going to come over here and get a button. Okay, and we'll add a button. Okay, and a button label content is going to say add entry. Okay. Okay, and then we want to have a, a over here we want to have a list view that shows us the, the the list of all the uh, primary values or the unique IDs for all the entries in the database. So after we hit that button, we can make sure that, that it actually went into the triple store. So that is called a list view right here. Okay, and we're going to just go ahead and let that list view take up this whole side. Okay. Okay. Now, this code's a mess. <laughs> I got to fix the layout here, but We've got some code here, okay, so we're going to go ahead and save, and we're going to run it, and we'll see if we get that window. Okay, oh, I had to come up here and run this, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so here it is. Here's our GUI. Okay, so I can type stuff in the text box, right? Uh, there's no value here yet, but we'll be able to select that, and then I've got a button I can push, okay? And here's our list box for our entries. Okay, so we're getting there. We're making some progress. Okay, so what I want to do now is these are set up with some default values. We want to try and get rid of those. So here's the text. We're going to just get rid of this text. We just want them to be blank. Now on this one, we want to add the sample items here. I don't know if we can do that. We have to do that in code or if we can do it here. Here's the, So here we can add items here. Okay, so we're going to add items. So we want to add a, let's see, other item. Okay, and well, let's just see if it will let us add a string. Okay, string, add. Like something I did here. Add, 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 add. Okay. Well, so it doesn't like something I'm doing here. All right, so we got to figure out how to add items to our list box. So we'll just cancel that for now. Okay, so I'm going to end this video. What we've got here is, a, is a, some messed up code for a graphical front end that we haven't wired up to anything yet. <laughs> so I don't think I've got these laid out on the grid right. You know, when I when I click these um, and I come down here and I look at the um, the grid row, uh, the grid row is not correct. So I got to figure out how to do this. I don't know what happens if I, yeah. So I got to figure some of this out. So we'll get this cleaned up. Um, and then I'll do another video. We'll start to wire this this GUI up to our our actual triple store triple store code. So thanks for watching.